What's up castaways, this is Miles Away. Welcome back to another video. So it's an absolutely freezing cold and rainy Canadian night over here. So what better thing to do than check out a new synth plugin? So GeForce, one of my favorite plugin developers, they created the amazing OBE Oberheim emulation. They have come out with a brand new V3 version of their ARP Odyssey inspired synth, Oddity. So when they asked me to check out their brand new Oddity V3 plugin, of course I said yes. I'm a big fan of what they do and I think they do some of the most accurate emulations on the market. So let's jump into Logic and check out how the synth sounds and design some patches from scratch, bearing in mind that I'm not an Odyssey owner or super user by any means. So this is gonna be kind of like the experience if you were to just get the plugin yourself on your first day. As always, if you like this content, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and let's get started. All right, so here we are inside the synth, starting with an init preset. So it sounds like this. And you'll notice just like the original ARP Odyssey, it is monophonic. So let's start by designing the kind of patch that you would have probably designed back on an ARP Odyssey. Now, again, I'm not gonna pretend like I'm some expert. I've played the Odyssey a couple times at music stores, at least the recreation of it. So the experience you're getting with me now is like what it would be when you first grab this synth for yourself. So let's have some fun. So let's, let's change the frequency of the oscillator here. Bring it down an octave. We've got our fine tune as well. Let's bring an oscillator too here. So our mixer is over here. Listen to those oscillators. That sounds great to me. We've also got a sub oscillator, so by default it's going to be the same key, but let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. Man, plugins have come such a long way. This just sounds incredible to me. Like I would just, you know, rock with that right off the bat as like a Moog replacement. Incredibly rich. Uh, okay, moving on to our filter section here. So again, I'm not gonna go through every single module. In fact, I probably don't know every single module. This is pretty much my first time properly using a full Odyssey, you know, not just at a store. Um, but yeah, what we're gonna do, we're gonna check out the different filter types. So they've included three from the different revisions here. That sounds so good. Let's check out the next one. Really smooth too, a bit darker. And then the final one, the 4023. I wonder if this is a 12 dB per octave two pole filter. Sounds like it's letting in more top end. I think, I think it is. I, I like the first two better. For this kind of like big fat bassy sound, I don't really want a 12 dB per octave filter. That's more gonna be for my chords, but it's great to have um, as an option. So let's check out uh, with resonance here. Let's see how good of a job they did on the uh, the filter modeling. So starting with our first one. Man, that sounds amazing. That sounds like that sounds like an analog filter to me. Amazing. Ooh, I actually really like the resonance on that last one. That's sick. Funny, without resonance, I didn't like that one, but with resonance, it might be my favorite. Okay, let's just make, uh, we're gonna make like a plucky bass sound. So we'll go to the first filter type. Awesome. So we also have a high pass filter, which is really cool from the original ARP too. So yeah, I mean, you guys can hear these, these components sound incredible. So. All right, so going to the mixer, let's go ahead and, and bring that uh, to our, our envelope here to make our pluck bass. That just sounds amazing. 
Now, I know we did a really basic sound and we didn't go through everything because if we did, we'd be here all day, but just the basic ingredients, like how good does that sound? GeForce has knocked it out of the park again, in my opinion, with getting that classic analog modeled sound that just really, you know, sounds alive and inside your speakers just has a life of its own. So let's check out some presets. Now with the original ARP Odyssey, it was monophonic or duophonic and couldn't play chords of course, but with this GeForce plugin, they've obviously removed that limitation. So you actually can get that Odyssey sound, but on a polysynth, which is really cool. So let's check out some polyphonic patches to start. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds amazing. That's a really cool sound. I've never really heard a patch that sounds exactly like that. And it's it's sweet to be able to have that classic ARP Odyssey growl, but in a polysynth. too. These pads are great. That wasn't really something I was expecting coming into this, but I'm really liking these pad sounds. But of course, the ARP Odyssey is not famous for pads. It's famous for its classic original patches back in the 70s and early 80s, uh, which they've recreated faithfully here, which is super cool. So let's go ahead and check out some of the classic ARP Odyssey patches. There's that like raw aggressiveness that the ARP is known for. Oh, I love this brass sound. Oh, that's so nice. Um, what's cool is if we take this, this original ARP Odyssey brass patch and then we click the polyphonic mode here, we can turn what was, you know, they're recreated faithfully from the original hardware, and we can turn it into a polyphonic patch, which was never available before. Like, oh man, that's, that's awesome. I would use that brass patch in a song just like that, you know, just no tweaking required. Um, let's check out a couple more of these classics here. Let's see if we can get a bass sound. So. The, the ARP Odyssey was famous for being a competitor to the Mini Moog, so of course it's going to do some good basses. That's amazing too. Like that. That's kind of what I had in mind when I was thinking of the Arb Odyssey, and it, it certainly doesn't disappoint. That bass sound is amazing. Let's check out the next one. Nice, pretty good. I like that one a lot too. Herbie Hancock bass. I wonder if this is an original preset. It's cool, it usually says if it is or not. So yeah, this was recreated from the 1981 original Odyssey patch book. Really cool. Amazing, like I'm not a, a, a funk keyboard player, but you can hear it's that classic like 1970s synth funk bass sound. Amazing. Let's go through a couple more random ones and see if we find something we like. Oh, you guys know I love my keys. Those are beautiful keyboards.
lovely. Like these are kinds of sounds that are just, you know, really cool because they were never possible on the original Odyssey. responding to, uh, actually all of them so far, responding to Aftertouch from my Summit keyboard, which is really cool. Really cool. Let's do one more. Let's see if we find one we like. So you can just see there's, there's so many presets that it comes with. Like, you get all of the presets from the original Oddity 1 and 2, the new Oddity 3, and my favorites, which are the original ARP Odyssey presets from the 70s and early 80s. Um, let's check out, let's see if we can find one we like the name of here. Uh, let's, go for, uh, let's go for one more keys. I like the keyboards a lot. Almost time. Let's try this. <laughs> This is a perfect one because this one's dry to show you guys the final thing that they've added, which is really cool. So if you click this extend button, you not only get the original ARP Odyssey panel, but you get essentially a whole other section with an extra X LFO, an extra ADSR, and then the effects, which is sweet. So if we wanna you know, add some distortion, which the original didn't have, I don't believe. <laughs> That's sweet, I really like that. Or adding some uh, reverb and delay. There's the delay, let's add the reverb. Let's do a big long decay. The reverb on uh, this, I think it's the same as the OBE. Really amazing sounding reverb. We have like separate modulation controls. Like this is a pretty solid reverb plugin on its own. But yeah, that's that's pretty much everything I'm gonna go through today. I personally love this plugin. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. For me, I think this is really not only a great plugin, but it's given me another appreciation for the ARP Odyssey as a synth because the ARP Odyssey is just something I don't know too well. I've never owned one. And now after having played this plugin, I feel like I better understand the workflow and it's a really great sounding synth. All right, so that about does it. Now, obviously I don't have a real ARP Odyssey to compare it with, but to me that plugin sounds pretty fantastic. I especially really like the filters. I think they did a great job with the filters and I really liked how they added the ability to play it polyphonically as well as some extra features like the extra LFO and the effects. It really helps to take away the limitations while keeping that great sound quality. But of course, I wanna know what you guys think, so let me know in the comments what you thought. And as always, please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this. I will see you guys in the next video.